Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm showing you guys a brand new 2023 Jeep Wrangler Sahara 4xE. This is a really sweet Jeep. Um, this one is a 4xE, meaning it's a gas and electric vehicle, so um, you can power it uh, with electricity or with gas. So we'll start up front. You guys can take a look here. Got a really nice looking grill, and we got some LED lights on it. We've got the blue tow hooks. Those blue tow hooks are gonna be on most if not all of your 4xE vehicles. And we'll make our way around this vehicle to the side where we'll check out, you can see we got some cool running boards. We've got some nice looking wheels too. These are 20 inch wheels, pretty sharp looking. And you guys will notice on the Sahara it comes with the uh, body color painted fender flares, which is pretty cool. And this one's a four door, um, which is nice. You know, obviously very easy to get in and out of. And uh, I don't think they make a two-door um, 4xE at this point in time. Get around to the back here. You guys will notice that we have uh, the spare on the back. And then you guys will notice right there, there's our backup camera. And then this has backup sensors on it too. So those little dots are our backup sensors. Hitch is optional. It's not on this one. But it is an option. Let's check out and see what we got going on back here. Okay, so you guys have noticed we got a pretty good amount of space. Wrangler is a super roomy vehicle, easy to travel with. Seats fold down too if need be. Alpine sound package on this one. These are just the uh, all-weather mats. And then this is the uh, charger for the electric motor, electric battery. The charger it comes with takes about 12 hours to charge the uh, battery fully. And you get about 25-ish miles out of the charge. So... Uh, if you got a short commute, that's pretty nice to have. You don't ever have to really use gas, which is cool. Um, and let's make our way to the inside of this vehicle. Well, let's check this out first. Here's the port where you'll charge the, the battery, which is pretty cool. Very easy. It's got some cool looking badges too. It's got the Sahara badge, got the trail rated badge, and uh, great vehicle. Drives really nice too. Let's open up the doors. You guys can see, pretty simple, easy, uh, plain doors. Got our adjustments for the mirrors, locks here. And then this one has the leather seats on it. Nice looking seats. These seats are heated and uh, they're pretty basic. Uh, they don't offer a power seat on the Wrangler so you have to manually adjust it, but it does have a height adjuster. This is for the recliner and then this is your lumbar adjust too. So you kind of have everything there. And then looking over here, you guys can see we got automatic lights, and then we have uh, a few different things we can adjust here: hybrid, electric, or uh, e-save. Uh, these modes impact the motors, obviously. So hybrid's going to be gas and electric. Electric's going to be, you guessed it, electric. And then e-save's going to prioritize um, just fuel instead of uh, electric. But great looking Jeep. This one is for sale, of course. Um, this dealership I'm at, La Fontaine Chrysler, has about 20 to 30. Wranglers in stock as we speak, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna back it out. And this dealership's located in Michigan. Um, so if you're interested in doing some business, definitely reach out. Uh, the steering wheel is really nice looking. Like I said, it's heated also. And then you have a few different controls on it. So this first one's gonna control this back screen. This is for the onboard communication. So like your phone and then um, onboard uh, voice command system. And then over here, we have the uh, setup for the adaptive cruise control and then the regular cruise control. And then you have your blinkers over here. And then you have your, um, your uh, windshield wipers for the front and the back. So pretty simple stuff. This back screen, guys, is pretty nice. Uh, it's got a nice looking display, uh, pretty modern. And then it has uh, indicators for the battery life, range, average fuel economy, which is pretty cool. And then it has a digital speedometer. And you can cycle up and down right through here to see all the other options too. Everything that's going on with the vehicle. So, uh, average fuel economy, hybrid information. Simple, super easy to use. A lot of good information too in here also. Um, oil life monitor, things like that. So, very easy to use. And then we'll get over here to the 8.4 touchscreen radio. You can do Apple CarPlay, Android Auto on this too. And this Jeep did come with navigation. So, you've got your... GPS right there on board which is powered by Garmin 
and then you have your media which is going to be AM, FM, satellite radio, Bluetooth, things like that. The climate set to automatic right now so you can automatically maintain whatever temperature that you'd like the vehicle to be at which is pretty cool and then you can also select the zones if you wanted to manually um, operate the uh, heating and cooling. And then down a little bit lower um, you guys will notice just over here we've got our push button starter and then we have redundant controls for a lot of those uh, mechanisms like your um, heating and cooling fan power adjustments right there auto switch and then you have your heated seats here and here heated steering wheel right there then a little bit lower we've got this switch bank this is our regenerative braking which means when you're um, when you're declining uh, speed uh, let's say you're going down a hill uh, the vehicle will actually capture that energy and transfer it through braking to uh, charge the uh, battery which is pretty cool this is your traction control on off this is your park sensors on off this one here is your uh, select speed shift four-wheel drive low to uh, operate in but uh, that's your select speed control and then a little bit lower we get to this uh, this bank which is going to be a couple different power outlets a couple different chargers and then the power windows are right in the middle I've had people actually call me hey where's the power windows on this thing it's right there and then right here we've got our shifter for um, our four-wheel drive settings so we got two high four high auto four high part-time neutral and then four low four high auto is obviously going to engage and disengage the four-wheel drive high as needed four high part-time is you telling the vehicle hey it's, it's time to go uh, four high and then obviously you got your four low too which you'd have to throw this into neutral to get there but um, pretty cool looking setup here in the middle very easy to use uh, nice leather trim on the park brake here's a look at the key so you've got your unlock lock remote start honk the old horn it says Jeep on the back and then if you press this button here key pops out and uh, you can unlock the door with that and then it actually can go right here in the middle just like that right between the cup holders so it's got a place and then you have a pretty nice uh, pretty nice uh, center console here you've got a high high top piece and then you have a uh, lower storage compartment which is pretty cool it's got a USB in there also but yeah I mean in my opinion I think that the cosmetics are great I think these vehicles um, are really fun too this one has the power top which I'll open up here in a second but this top all you do is just press this button and it becomes basically convertible uh, you don't have to take off the the hard top or anything like that this just power slides back which is pretty cool let's stand up for a second see what we got yeah so you guys can see it opens up all the way over the rear occupants too which is pretty sweet yeah and then if it starts raining or you decide you want to close it it's just a push of a button instead of having to meddle with the um, the soft top or anything like that but it's pretty cool let's take a quick look at the back seat um, on our way there I'll just show you guys this here is um, an indicator and it's a it's a group of about five lights and these lights will flash as you're charging and uh, as each one charges obviously um, it'll let you know hey you, you finally reached where all five are solid blue and that means that you're all charged up and this Jeep it's got the blind spot monitoring right there and the, the leases on these are pretty good so I'm in Michigan so I'm not sure in other states exactly how they work but I could always figure it out but in Michigan they lease pretty fair we do a ton of business with leases on these um, we still have people buying them and stuff like that but it seems like more often than not people are leasing them because you know when you look at the actual cost to lease it let's say it's six seven hundred dollars a month um, okay you know six seven hundred bucks a month that's that's not bad when you look at a purchase, well, it's a you know 64-ish thousand-dollar vehicle. So if you do a 72-month loan on it, you know it could be upwards to a thousand plus a month, and that may be comfortable for some, and it might not. But regardless, it's a really great Jeep, and I just want to do a video on it. This is the 2023 Jeep Wrangler Sahara 4xe. Um, hope you guys enjoy the video. If you have any questions, uh, my information will be down in the description. And I appreciate you guys coming to check the video out and uh, hope to see you guys next time.